back to Roundtable Hall, guys. This is, in fact, Eorveth, not Ensha, who betrayed the Golden Order and the Two Fingers and everything else in the last episode, so... He's got something to do with something mysterious, possibly something to do with... Um, Mikola. Mikola was how... Um, the tenor pronounced it. I'm still going to go with Michaela for the time being, though. Um, so, we've got Rhea Lucaria on the horizon. Um, I don't, it really doesn't feel like we're going to find a second key. And like I said in the previous video, we can't rule out finding another key while we're inside. Um, so, I can't just put everything off to uh, wait to find the second key that we can give to Sorcerer Thops. But uh, at the beginning of this episode, I wanted to just do a bit of a state of play, particularly regarding NPCs. So we're gonna, we are gonna might jump around here just to check in with a few people and just, you know, make sure we're up to date with all the quests we've got going currently because if, you know, th there's no quest log, there's no journal. So we, you, as, a, as the player, you really have to keep up on top of this stuff. So. Um, obviously, recently we've had Hayeta. She didn't really suggest where she was going, I don't think. Uh, she was here by the Gate Town Bridge. And she's still moving forward with her desire to become, <laughs> I nearly said Firekeeper, to become a Finger Maiden, uh, even though she has to keep consuming these Shabriri grapes, uh, which are human eyes. Uh, but that's kind of what I thought. I thought it was going to maybe take a more maniacal turn, but it perhaps something more spiritual or uh, I'm not sure how to phrase it religious fur like with a religious fervor almost I think is the right way to describe it um patches obviously will probably move after we <laughs> get involved in his latest scheme which is inside Ray Lucaria um we met Raya, she's disappeared as well. We'll obviously probably get in touch with her at Mount Gelmir and the Volcano Manor. Uh, Thops is also obviously not going to move until we give him the key. Um, uh, I will head back to the Murkwater Cave to see if there is in fact another merchant here instead of Patches. And um, we'll check in with Carly because it's always a good idea, right? Uh, we'll go and talk to Yura again because we killed another dragon and we'll head to the Church of Dragon Communion to pick up our other ability. Um, I will go and talk to Sorceress Selen because we picked up quite a lot of sorcery scrolls and I'd rather give them to her than to Thops anyway. Um, and I think that that's kind of everything. The, the one thing that's kind of hanging over my head is Stormvale. This place over here, the whole lower reaches of Stormvale, and the, I might be missing out on like a major part of that castle just because I haven't quite found the entrance. There's, there's a locked door at, um, at, at the lift side. The lift side, the lift side chamber has um, a locked door next to it. And it, it, does, it just really feels like I'm missing something, so I'm probably going to go back there, but I will do a lot of editing if it's like... I won't just put it in fast forward, I will edit the majority of it out if I just find absolutely nothing again. And I might go and do a cheeky bit of farming for um, Banished Knight armor, because... Is it Banished Knight? That's what my instinct says it's called. So we've got some leggings. Ban is Banished Knight. Because uh, that's a cool set of armor. I don't really like this um, en en this armor that we got off Ensure, the Royal Remains. Yeah. But um, he's an ancient lord, so I don't know why he just came at me for no reason. But I guess it was, connect it was connected with uh, the Albanorix and a secret that they're perhaps protecting to do with um, Michaela and Melania. Uh, Melania. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go and check in with a few people. Oh yeah, and the, the we've got the other quest, the other quest lines at Roundtable Hold here that are still up in the air. And Nefeli Lou 
has been cast out by Gideon. So I don't know what's going to happen to her. And uh, this guy, who was the guy who stood here, who was looking for his tomboyish, in his that those were his words. Um, uh, he was looking for Lanya. He has disappeared now. I can't quite remember at what point he disappeared, but it was just, it wasn't right at the beginning of going to Leonia. It was kind of I think it was maybe at a halfway point. Maybe it triggered when we went to uh, Lindell. I don't know. I don't think it was when we went to Lindell because we went to Lindell while we were in. Um, the Weeping Peninsula. So, I don't really know. There's a chance that he is now in Leonia somewhere. But I haven't spotted him anywhere. And his, his, his icon, as I learned after with uh, Hayata, they, their icon doesn't show up until you actually talk to them, I don't think. Besides the finger reader crones who just appear everywhere. So I don't really know where to... Um, look for him if he has disappeared he's not like described being associated with a particular part of, of Leonia or the town so he's kind of lost to us unless I stumble upon him but um, yeah after we've done all that we'll head to the eastern cliff side of Leonia and explore probably up to the great tree here I think that's a decent cut off point well technically all of this is Leonia right so yeah because, you know, because going into the, a, a place where we can get a great rune is like a major story point, isn't it? So we need to make sure we wrap up certain things before we go. Oh, and well, we need to check in with Gatekeeper Gustock to see if he still wants to kill us. And if he, if he does still want to kill us, I will kill him. Uh, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, he does have... He doesn't really have anything for sale that we want or need. But... Wow, that looks really dark. And now let's, we're just going to check if uh, the goons in here that were working for patches. Uh oh. Oh, you guys. I have poise. Oh, Highwayman armor. Nice. <laughs> Finally getting some bloody item drops. I mean, it looks terrible, <laughs> but still. And we're going to keep putting points into endurance because I want to wear heavy stuff. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that there's going to be anyone else here, but you never know, right? You've got to check these things. Patches, you are a lying git. Well, we already knew that. All right, let's go talk to Selin. Maybe if we give her more scrolls, she'll tell us about the identical clone of her that's <laughs> locked away in the Weeping Peninsula. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Okay, uh, Academy scroll. Oh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. Well, there's something that I'm missing with this side quest. Ah. <sighs> Bestowed upon the enchanted Karian knights, who combined this art with their swordmanship to maintain pressure upon their foes, striking in waves of steel and sorcery. Karian Slicer. Even among Karian sword sorceries, this is notably effective. This is a notably effective technique. Yeah, this is like a quick short sword attack. I think I can't remember what what which ones were new. But we can't use any of them, <laughs> obviously. The sword sorceries are definitely interesting. Let's just have a look at what requires only 12. So, swift shard, obviously pebble, 
Uh, Glintstone Stars. Glintstone Arts only 13. Carrion Slices only 14. 12 for the Shield. Scholar's Armament is only 12. Okay. Some promise there. Right? You wish to continue very well. Yeah, I wish something would happen with her quest, but never mind. Okay, so nothing new is selling. Let's head to the Church of Dragon Communion. Use the Dragon Heart we got off the Magic Dragon, whose name I keep forgetting. It said that it unlocked a new one, so. So we've got the Dragon Fire. Now we're going to pick up uh, Dragon Claw. Okay, and then we'll go and have a quick talk with Yura. See, I, I, maybe he'll update when we pick up everything. Hello, Mr. Dragon Man. You must not forget that those who put their hunger until the flood gets strength. There is no surprise. Yep, absolutely nothing. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, And oh yeah, there was the. You guys told me about the thing that I missed at the Summon Water Village, so we'll go there as well. But let's just go and talk to Knight Bernal. You never know if he's got anything new. He might just be a vendor. He might have nothing interesting to say, but. Uh, I would like to buy the Zweihander as well. I think it was about 3,000 runes. Ah, uh, hello. Glad to see you safe. Thank you. Here to learn a battle art or two. Though... So, yeah, we should buy no skill. In case, like, a great shield. Well, until we meet again. Well... I think we're going to have to kill him to get his armor, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, let's head quickly to... Now, I'm, I'm also, I'm wondering if this is... Because this is the same sort of symbol that was over by the uh, mines. So this might be another uh, smithing stone mine. I can't remember exactly which... Um, Ruins it was that I didn't go in, but there's no boss here now, so we can have a look around freely. Let's just scour the place. Skeletons will be ignored. So it's not that one. I think this is the one we came in originally with the stairs, yeah. Hey, it's so. Oh, I guess this is what I missed. How did I not see this? Oh, man, I've not got any keys left, have I? Bollocks. All right, we're going to have to come back because I used two stone, st stone, st stone stored. Stone stored keys back at Round Table Hall, didn't I? So we'll have to go back. Um, I've not got enough runes to buy the, um, the Zweihander. It's just if I'm going to have a great sword as backup, I'd rather it be a, the best one, <laughs> right? And um, yeah, we need to. I need to have a, a think, like I said, about Stormvale here. So um, there's a good chance I, I edit a lot of this out because look, we've got somewhere to go here. Now, this might be nothing important, but it looks important. There might be an invisible wall at play. The big guy respawns as well. Oh my god, there is a way down! Crap! Yeah, we took some damage, but who cares? Okay, now this might... This might just be loot. 
Oh, happy. Right, how the hell? Oh yeah, we need to go talk to Gostock as well. I forgot about that. No way. This might be the way we get into the lower reaches then. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited now. But, uh, how was I supposed to get up there? Not entirely sure. So we def I don't know, maybe we could have made the jump. I don't know. No, it's only rats down here at the minute. We're going to have to two-hand this hammer more than more often than not to get good value from it. How did that not hit anyone? I'm showing no respect to these rats. They're going to kill me. Overconfidence, Matt. A slow and insidious killer. Oh. How dare you be dexterous! Hammer time! Okay, there's a scarab nearby. Yeah, I think we already triggered it. Rancor call. Oh, cool. That's like a forbidden sorcery. I think. Summons vengeful spirits that chase foes down. Sorcery of the servants of death. Summons vengeful spirits. Once thought lost, this ancient death hex was rediscovered by the necromancer Garris. Cool. It is really interesting how there are um, multiple different types of sorcery and incantations now. Like, way more than there was before, right? Because we've got, like, sword sorceries, uh, glintstone sorceries, um, no, these are night sorceries from Celia, which are more uh, duplicitous. Um, we've got like gravitas stuff, and then this is like necromancy almost. I can't believe I, I found. I saw. I was watching. Oh, this this looks like a boss room. That necromancy should have been a, a major hint. So I was looking back at some footage trying to find a way that I hadn't been here. Okay, this is suspicious. Wonder how you get across to that other side. Maybe you just have to jump it. Alright, we're gonna have to jump down. We've got nothing to lose, right? Hello there. Oh, not this shit again. Man, I already killed this thing. I don't want to do it again. Is there another one? This is the most annoying encounter in the entire game, besides the dragonflies. This is like fighting a dragonfly for him, so I feel his pain. Oh, that's an AoE. 
How are you already in the second phase? Wow, this would have been nails if you got if I came here the first time we came to Stormvale. Man, I'm chewing through flasks though. goes again. Oh, I thought he was doing the AOE again. Oh, seriously. I can't get out of the way of that because I have to turn around to run, so. Oh, that's not fair, dude. Spamming that. Oh, I hate this thing. Right, we've got to go ham here because I've not got any heals left. Shit. Just hit the thing, Matt. Oh. You are the absolute worst. There's just no rhyme or reason to that fight at all. It's just chaos. We need that at least. Felt like there were more items down here, but I guess not. Please tell me this leads into the lower reaches of the castle first. Look at this skull, this is like the town of sorcery. That's Roger! Because I was like, what the hell is this? We're not playing online. He like sacrificed himself or something. Prince of Death's Pustule. Ooh. That must be a key item. The Prince of Death. Roger, what have you done, pal? I didn't tell what I couldn't tell what kind of item it was. Sorry, <laughs> gonna have to suffer through this menu scrolling. Can't believe I found this place, man. Oh, it's a talisman. Raises vitality. A fettered pustule taken from facial flesh raises vitality. Vitality governs resistance to the effects of death. It is said that this pustule came from the vestige of the Prince of Death. He used to be called Godwin. As first dead of the demigods, it's said he buried deep, he's buried deep under the capital at the Erdtree's roots. Hey, Godwin's known as the Prince of Death. That is cool. Godwin's also known as the Prince of Death. Sick. Now, I wonder if we can confront Roger about this. I wonder if this like leads down from where Roger was. This isn't like the secret entrance I was hoping for though, to be perfectly honest. I 
It's, I don't know, maybe it'll lead to the elevator. Maybe it's not a substantial... Yes, yeah, maybe this is the secret. Maybe this... this. Uh, I don't know what that thing is. It's got like three eyes, hasn't it? Maybe that is... Well, it said he was buried under the Erd tree. So this can't be Godwin's grave. This has to be something else. But this could be the Prince of Death. Oh, I don't know. Difficult to interpret that. But we we know that Rogier has sacrificed himself or stabbed himself with something. And we heard uh, D talk about him being on a dangerous path of self-sacrifice. No more rats, please. Okay, I know where we are then. Um. Yeah, this is where we fought the... What's it called? The Grafted Scion. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we go uh, back to the site of Grace then. Let's see if we can get the rest of those items. And uh, how many runes have we got? Oh yeah, and one of you told me that Gostok steals some of your runes all the time. Well, that must just be why my runes went down slightly. I'm fast traveling within the castle. So we're gonna we're gonna go and smash him. <laughs> He must be able to jump over there. I mean, not from here, but surely. I think you can make it, you just have to do it straight. But what I'll do is I'll quickly pinch my, my runes. And then we'll go and deal with Gostock and then I'll come back here. Right, so we're going to go smash Gostock if he's not talkative again. <laughs> I guess he is kind of a, an evil character at this point then. Yeah, he's still evil. You plank. You don't see the size of this hammer, Gostock. Boys! Well, you locked me in that room. You've been stealing my runes from me. Gostok's bell buried. Oh! Okay, so that's how we can still buy his items. By taking that to the finger maiden husks. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else. I couldn't save him, right? I, 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 I aggroed him by accident, so... Right, let's... How many, I don't know how many millions of attempts it's going to take <laughs> to uh, get this jump, but I will do it. Believe you me! Ha-ha! <laughs> Victory! There was a vampire over here, right? Wish them. Let's 
so if we climb up this thing, we should be able to get up there, right? No, 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 we can't. What's the point of this, then? Am I not seeing a ladder? Oh. How the hell did we get up there? Don't make me solve a puzzle. I'm only joking, but um, I cannot think. How on earth we get up there, or how we get to that shortcut. I guess we need to be directly above here. That's where we drop down from. Okay, I guess we head to the rampart tower then. See if we can get a view. Maybe it's where those rats were when I threw the glowstones down there. Uh, it's daytime, so we can at least have a little gander. Try and get our bearings a little bit on these bloody roofs. So where we want to be is at, is over there. Yeah? Yeah. The big guy's over there, and the bonfire's over there. Let's take care of these things. Ooh. I don't know if we have more poise with this weapon, which is maybe how it how you pick up how it's got more benefits than the axe. Um, do any weapons affect poise? Uh, no, it's only armor, I think. Yeah, so it's over here. Find a way over there. So it's here. It's just how do we get over there? the question. Could potentially get there from here. I think it looks too high up, personally. Yep. It's definitely a path, though. And I think, yeah, I think, was it here? I'm not sure. Oh, hello. I don't think I ever jumped down here, did I? Give it a go. Hmm. 
Wow, this is so precarious now. Look at this. Definitely onto something now. This is mad. That is my first name after all. Mod wooden shield, that is totally useless. <laughs> oh god. Nearly cocked that up. We already had a mottled shield, didn't we? Or was it a mottled great shield? Picked up a mottled, yeah, a mottled, marred leather shield. This is marred wood, oh, marred. Some say it's, it is the curse of grafting which causes such affliction, while others talk of its root being something altogether more sinister hidden deep within the castle, which must be that huge skull thing that we found. And now that we've learned that Godfrey, uh, Godwin is related, is regarded as the Prince of Death, which kind of opens the issue up to something else entirely, right? There is another ledge. I'm not sure where the hell we're going, but I'm down for it. Oh! How the hell are we alive? Storm Assault? Cool. That might only be for spears and halberds. That really scared me. Okay, I'm liking this though. Maybe this is how we get over there. Who knows? Wait, haven't we already been here? I'm not sure. I don't think so. This guy looks new. Oh god, you look like the Crucible Knight. You're like a mini Crucible Knight. Can I have your armor? Oh! Can I backstab him? He's literally the Crucible Knight. He's got the exact same move set. Okay, there's hope for me to get the armor at least. Let me backstab you, mate. I don't think we can backstab him. He's got so much more poise than us. Okay, if I learned anything from last time, it's... How many recycled bosses am I going to run into here? Are you serious, man? What a joke. I can't believe I've got to do this again. Hey, man, I have poise too. Oh, not this again. Armor, now. Aspect of the Crucible. Aspects of the Crucible. Horns. Oh, I can't believe it, man. We're finding something so new here. The layers of this game. Like an onion. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, right, let's read that. Peel the onion. Uh, right, it's an incantation. We, we got this from the Crucible Knight in the jail. Creates a shoulder horn to gore foes from a lower stance. What, like the shield? One of the ancient Erdtree incantations creates a mighty horn on the caster's shoulder to gore foes from a low stance. Charging allows the caster to barrel into foes before delivering the final attack. This is a manifestation of the Erdtree's primal vital energies, an aspect of the primordial crucible where all life was once blended together. So these are to do with God uh, Godwin. Because he's if he is buried under the Erd tree, I guess. Now this looks like a boss door. If I've ever bloody seen one. Where are we? Come on, man, take us over there, please. So glad I found this. I'm really in shock. I was so prepared to have to edit out <laughs> for like half an hour of wandering. Are we going to have to fight multiple of them? Because... I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. I just don't want there to be like, you know, 
three of the bastards at once. Can't summon torrent, obviously. Okay, nothing there. It was worth it. A try. Let's have a look here first. Green as Lily. You know you're into the game when you can name the plants. <laughs> I was like that in The Witcher 3, it'd just be... Okay, I think this is the secret elevator then. All oh, right, is that it then? Come on, man, that can't be it. Maybe it's going to go down. We still haven't even unlocked that shortcut, have we? I guess we've got to find that uh, mini Crucible Knight. Crucible Knight Junior. So we fought two recycled bosses. The, ironically, we did actually fight in the same video, didn't we? I f yeah, I fought the uh, the tree spirit in the same video. Oh. Sorry. I thought I was going to make that. Uh, is there even an item there? Is, it even, is there even a point to doing that? I'll have a look on the way up. I won't jump off this time. Oh no, uh, yeah. How many... Yeah, there was only... There's only... This is the last shortcut, I think. Well, there's no item there anyway. That's pretty much that, right? I'm gonna go and squash this guy. So much disappointment. Okay, so that's a uh, that's pretty good, right? I don't know why you'd need this shortcut, but I might have missed something. Okay, um, I don't think we've really got enough golden root. Oh, maybe. We'll level up, but we need like another nine thousand. Nine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, but if we want to... We need to go back over there, so... Uh, I haven't rested, have I? So the birds are still dead, that's good. Can go have another look. Well, maybe we can drop. Don't hit the wall. Double check because we are slightly elevated. That mat's going to fall off the edge, isn't it? All right, not that way. Damn it! There's something I'm missing in it. Tell you the truth, I can't even remember how we just got to that last shortcut. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Um, now I could just check out the area with the warrior jars. That's probably worth having a quick look, right? And this is where we fought Godric. There's the big Terry. Warrior jars are back here. There was an item over here. Oh, oh, oh. Or is th no, that's not the way we came in. Maybe we can make a cheeky jump here. No, 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 I think we get. I think we do actually get over there from this ledge. Nice. Crap. All right, well that's pretty straightforward. Low risk at least, which probably means it's not got much of a reward. <laughs> You never know. It's here for a reason. Oh! What the hell is this? Hey, Terry. Fuck off, Terry. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. I had to. What's he going to do? Oh, man. Oh, it does lead to something. Cool. You can't fit through here, Terry. All right, fine. Cool, this is completely new. And this thing's got no range. Okay. Good job, Matt. Oh! Oh! A tower shield? Jesus Christ, with the sneeze. Commoner's headband, altered. Seriously, man. Who do you think you are? Are you going to make me sing the Spice Girls song? Were you all friends of... Gostock? He was a little traitor as well. Found a great shield. Yeah. It's got more. Oh, it's not got more poison than that, actually. But it's got. Oh, we can use it, though. An iron great shield, large enough to cover the entire body, depicts the round table hole. Gathering place of champions. Great shields boast high damage negation and guard capacity, making enemies' attacks easy to repel. And it's got shield bash. We can put no skill on it as well. It's, uh, it's a little bit lighter, so, I mean, this has got uh, 67 guard boost compared to uh, 56 on this, and that's upgraded a couple of times. So, um, uh, yeah, we need to level up our endurance another point before we can use it, probably. But we can't be that far off, because I've, I've not even got my um, crossbow equipped, so... Oh, hello. 
surely what you seek is somewhere close by, Rogia. Okay, so this was the intended path. Was it? I have no idea, man. I think this is where we want to be, but... Rogier, you evil man. Hopefully this is... Not just the way to the stuff down there. No, look, see. Nice. That would be the irony if I just picked that up and then lost 14,000 in return. That's the Divine Tower. Oh, we made it, guys. <laughs> oh yes, the irony. Oh, what a relief. Right, let's uh, go and pinch all those items. And then I think that's all I'm going to find for the time being. Any more vampire bats up here? What is it with these arterial leaves? Are these going to be like vitally important at some point? And I'm just not giving them any credit. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I really don't want to die with this many runes on me. I know we can get back here really easily now, but... Okay, uh, we'll spend a few golden runes and level up, see if we can hold that shield. Uh, probably not, but you never know. Sorry. We need another 4,000 runes. Was Melina? I'm just, I, I've had a different look, so I have to check. Uh, I don't think it'll be enough. No, still not enough. It weighs a lot more than this. It weighs 10 more, so... We're going to have to, yeah, make up a lot of... Uh, this armor's probably playing into it, isn't it? Yeah, I think we were benefiting quite a lot with the, from the scale armor. So we're going to have to put a lot more points into endurance here, I think. But let's just have a quick look at it. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. One tanky skeleton. <laughs> Right? We look kind of cool with it on our back as well. Alright. Uh, I'm happy having this as like my go-to medium shield that I'll keep upgrading. Okay guys, I'll leave it there. I'm not... There's, there's obviously more to find in here. Which is the crazy thing because there's even more stuff lower down. But uh, we'll go and talk to Rogier, I guess, in the next one. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a thumbs up if you didn't. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.